installing a broadband seismometer that will be part of, part of the East Coast Seismic Monitoring Network. You can sort of picture it as a miniature R2-D2. It's about a foot high and maybe uh, 9, 10 inches wide. It looks like a little cylinder. But you can't just set one of these seismometers on the ground because they would tend to subside into the soil or they would pick up small vibrations. So what we did yesterday was we dug a vault and poured a whole cubic yard of concrete, which makes a large pedestal that the seismograph sits on. And for that pedestal to move, the whole earth has to be moving. So it picks up the large vibrations coming from far away and large vibrations there close by, but not small stuff. People think earthquakes, they don't think about California or Alaska where we have the big earthquakes, but we do get earthquakes here on the East Coast. The smaller faults that produce the earthquakes in the East Coast are not as well understood. And unless you have seismometers that are close to where the activity is, you can't track them down. There are actually far fewer seismometers because most of the budget for seismometers goes to the West Coast monitoring. Uh, and there's actually very few in this particular area of the country. And we're adding one right here at Temple Amber to the node. And this will become part of the seismic monitoring network which will join the data network for the entire country.